back. And today we are going to talk about um, upper critical solution temperatures and lower critical solution temperatures. So um, an upper critical solution temperature, it tells you the temperature above which the solution will mix. So above a temperature, and this is what we've kind of been dealing with previously. So again, if we want to plot this as a function of temperature, it'd be like this. So this is our, right here, would be the UCST. UCST, not USC. Um, this is uh, going to be our upper critical solution temperature. So the temperature above this temperature, we will mix everywhere for all concentrations. There can also be um, a lower critical solution temperature uh, below which, you know, uh, we should actually call it US, UCSD and LOST. Lower critical solution temperature, temperature above uh, which the solution will demix. Um, so we're going to see that in a second. So we haven't really talked about, and actually our Flory Huggins theory doesn't really account for this. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit, but we can figure out why an LCST will occur. So there's a temperature at which, so let's, let's think about this for a second. So we are the temperature above which the, our solution will demix. So we are going up, if we go up here, actually let's look at a different uh, phase diagram right here. So UCST or lower critical solution temperature right here. So again, it's kind of always kind of hard to kind of think about it. So the temperature above which our solution will mix or basically the chi parameter above or below which our system will automatically mix. We can also have a lower critical solution temperature. So the temperature above which so here's our critical temperature. Above that temperature, we are going to demix. So how can that occur? Does anybody have any intuition or ideas about why that can occur? Remember, the unique things about polymers are always are what type of interactions? Inter or intra? It is our intermolecular interactions that are on the order of KT that can be broken by thermal fluctuations. Well. As you grow up in temperature, really, really high in temperature, uh, so you could have a lower critical solution temperature or an upper critical solution temperature, UCST, and you could have a lower critical solution temperature on the phase on the same phase diagram, lower critical solution temperature. Well, at high of temperatures, we are starting to break these intermolecular interactions. If we are just looking at pure polymer blends, um, we're going to start breaking these intermolecular, weak intermolecular interactions, whether they're H bonds, whether there's polar interactions, whether there's van der Waals, you'll reach temperature high enough that we'll, we're going to start breaking these interactions, which probably caused our chi parameter to be low enough. Again, because if one and two, if we have H bonding, or if we have polar interactions, or if we have van der Waals, our E12 will be lower. But if we reach a high enough temperature where we're breaking these interactions, well, then this is bad again. E12 starts to increase because now, there's none of these favorable intermolecular interactions that probably promoted mixing to begin with, and we will get phased uh, phase separation again. So UCST, lower critical solution temperature, you could have a really strange diagram like here, <laughs> right here, where you again demix, and then also again at high enough temperatures, maybe you're creating, you know, what 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 could be happening here where we mix again? Well, maybe there's some temperature again where bonds start to form, intermolecular bonds. So you break them. Uh, or they're broken, and then at some high temperature, they form. Maybe it's an, you know, who knows? Maybe you break something, and then there's an ionic interaction that uh, occurs in your system along the chains. But anyways, those are lower and uh, uh, basically lower and upper critical solution temperatures. So you could read, there's a nice discussion in the notes. Uh, we'll go to it right now. Uh, so we have, uh, we're assuming only Van der Waals interactions. We've ignored hydrogen bonding. So uh, we can only, from our spinola, we can only predict a UCST. Uh, so we're not kind of taking this uh, into effect. Um, but there is behavior high temperatures where we switch from um, phase separated to mix. Um, and that's when our, you know, high parameters and solubility parameters are positive. But you can have that lower critical solution temperature. Certain temperatures, the opposite behavior occurs. Again, high temperatures, we sh entropy mixing should dominate. But again, that chi parameter is dependent on temperature as well. I is proportional to 1 over T. So it can switch signs uh, because these E12 are dependent on what temperatures and where they exist. Uh, again, atomistically, there is the key thing is there's a temperature at which you can break some of these weak molecular interactions. 
that could have pro promoted mixing in the first place. So your chi is a function of t, uh, and it can become negative, it can become positive, uh, depending on t. And the, you know these interactions also are a function of temperature. So it's a little bit more complicated than we uh, like, but again, generally speaking, chi, uh, the phase diagrams that we develop will hold for most conditions. It's uh, a really interesting but kind of strange uh, polymer. It'll give you uh, lower critical solution uh, behavior. But again, weird, pro weird problems, weird polymers, that's what we're interested in studying. So, um, but just know that. That's kind of where it occurs. So again, high temperature, we should be mixing. But we could be breaking interactions. Uh, our chi value could change depending on temperature. And we can you know, become very, very large uh, again for some reason, breaking some bonds that probably promoted mixing in the first place. So um, that's it for lecture four. Uh, so we will move on now to lecture five next time. And we're going to talk about viscosity. We're going to watch a fun video of running on cornstarch. And uh, only a couple more lectures. These will be a, a little bit nicer lectures, a little bit less theory, more focused on kind of experimental measurements. So I think you'll enjoy that. And then six and seven, and then we have our exam. So I'll see you all next time. Thanks. Bye.